Good afternoon again. It's uh, archivist David Thomas at the Cornwall Record Office at Truro for another session of David's Dazzling Documents. One of the things we have to do when we move to our new site at the Crescent Kernow Centre at Red Reels is to pack up large amounts of maps and plans. And here on the table today, we have one of the best um, detailed maps of uh, we have in our holdings and also it's partly relevant to where we're going to move to which is the brewery site at Red Ruth. It is actually a plan done by the Falmouth map maker Richard Thomas of the Manor of Tolgus in Red Ruth, compiled in 1818 and then copied by what, what we think is one of his assistants Jay Pascoe. So let's have a look and see what we can learn about early 19th century Red Ruth. The first thing that really strikes you about this plan is the immense and very, very detailed nature of it. If you look quickly at it, you might almost think that it had been printed. In fact, it's beautifully hand-drawn and done on quite thick parchment. Here, for example, you have the site of the, the brewery at Red Ruth, which was going in the end of the 18th century. There's a little note there under the word brewery, a post here in the bed of the river under the footbridge. So the detail recorded is pretty accurate. If we could get our bearings for a moment, the, the centre of the town of Redruth would be approximately here, as he's indicated. This is um, the cottages leading out towards Falmouth Road, and the, this will be West End, and this is the road that leads out to, to Camborne. So there's lots of different places we can identify. And here, over here, is the parish church of St Uni at Red Ruth, with its graveyard shown and the little maps of the paths in the, in the uh, graveyard. And the glebe lands of Red Ruth, which didn't belong <coughs> to the Buller family, so therefore they're not shown in detail. And it's nice to see Wheel Uni mentioned. St Uni, of course, is the patron saint of Red Ruth. And this is one of the rare examples where the church allowed mining on actual glebe land. And Wheel Uni was one of the exceptions um, to the rules. And we can see the stream that goes through our present site there of the, um, the new record office coming down past Tolgus Mill, going down the valley and going all the way down to Pertreath. And you've got the road going down uh, to Pertreath. The mining features are shown very well. We've got the stamps here indicated, a burning house where the tin was smelted. And there's a lovely note here at the top of this uh, plan, and it says, an acknowledgement has been paid to Mr. Buller for sh uh, allowing the people of the stamps to deposit their waste stuff on his ground across the river. A bit of cooperation there in mining. Usually they were quite rivals, the different landowners, so it proves people could work together. Little features pop up. You've got a bit of um, something shown here, a bit of mine burrow, a bit of mine waste or something. And of course, the tenement of Tolgus, which is the subject of the manor, is actually where the new Crescent Kernow record office will be. And... Uh, two posts that were here have been removed and now form the footbridge near, so they didn't waste anything then. A bit of recycling, granite posts were actually made into a footbridge to cross the stream. If we look further over to the south of the plan, you've got the Clyde Works, um, a mine that's called New Wheel Virgin. And if we look very, very carefully, if the camera can home in, we can actually see the little footpaths that cross these rough mining areas. The detail shown on this is absolutely incredible. If you know the area from Redruth and you wanted to say to go to Helston out of the town of Redruth, somewhere down here will be what would be now we would call Morris's chip shop. And the road comes up. And this junction here is a division of the road one goes to Car and Kai and one goes to Helston, past what was then Copper Hill Mine in the year 1818. We have a place called Selegan or Selegan, which was later the site of a smelting works um, at the end of the 1800s. The village of Car and Kai would be up here. And we also have the adjoining landowners shown. Lord de Dunstanville, of course, was the Bassett of Tehiddy. Lord Clinton and also... Um, joint lands owned by there by Lord Clinton and James Buller. A place I've never heard of before in the area called Shepherd's Hold. So maybe that's where they kept a pen for sheep, perhaps. Like some more information on that, if anything, can, anyone can tell us about Shepherd's Hold there, um, just south of Red Ruth. 
fascinating example of a, of a plan. We have vast numbers of plans that we have to pack up in our move to Red Ruth. We hope that when we're open again in the summer of this year, you'll come and enjoy some of them. Thank you very much.